I'm Nadine Hill. You can find me on social media as I am Nadine Hill. And I'm here today to do a quick yoga flow to take you through some sun salutations. This is a great wake up in the morning uh, when you just get out of bed to give you some energy or any time you need some energy throughout the day and you have a little space and a bit of privacy maybe. Don't think this will go down too well in an office, but it might be quite cool in your living room or uh, anywhere private. So just taking you through, just gonna start to get warmed up first. So if you could circle your hands and also do some shoulder rolls backwards, shoulder rolls forwards, and then start to warm up the waist by doing some sways side to side, keeping your legs straight. And then come into a st standstill, just gonna inhale as you sweep your hands upwards, raise up to the sky, do a bend, over to one side, feeling the stretch down this side of your body. Come back to center and do a bend over to this side, feeling the stretch in this side of the body. Back up to center and bring your arms down. And then we're just going to do some ankle rolls. So balancing on one leg, just do a bit of an ankle roll on one side. And again on the other side, starting to warm up the lower half of your body. And then give yourself a little shake. Loosen up all the areas. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do some sun salutations. This is a classic sun salutation series. Um, and you'll be able to do it by going to the top of your mat. Um, you can have your mat facing this way, standing at the top of your mat. Knee, uh, your legs should be hip width apart. And raise your toes off the ground, spread them all out, and then place your toes back onto the mat to give you a good solid base. Elongate up through the body, and this is Tadasana, Mountain Pose. I'm facing sideways so that you can see the movements that I actually do. So from here, inhale as you sweep your hands upwards, and then hinge from the hips on the exhale, down into Uttanasana. Grazing your fingertips to just below the knee, flat back, and back down to the ground, exhale. Stepping back with one leg, knee to the ground, and then sweep upwards into a low lunge, Anjane Asana. Options take a back bend if you wish. From here, plant your hands either side of your foot, curl the back toes under, raise your leg, and step back to plank. With plank, make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists. Option to put a knee down if you wish. Or if you're holding a solid plank from here, down to the mat with control, Chaturanga Dandasana. Pause for a moment before you go all the way down to the mat. Uncurl your toes. From here, pushing into your hands, you're gonna take your body upwards, knees off the floor, upward facing dog. And then curling the toes under, bottom up to the sky, downward facing dog. First time with dog of the day, so take your dog for a walk. And then get it up onto your toes, bottom pointed up to the sky. You can either walk, hop or jump to the front of your mat. And then straighten your legs, sweeping the hands all the way up to the sky. Hands down to heart centre. That was one series in a sun salutation. So we're gonna do that a couple more times and this will really start to build some heat in the body. We're gonna go a bit quicker this time. So if you join me again at the front of your mat, inhale as you sweep your hands upwards, gazing up to the sky. Exhale, hinging from the hips, hands down to the ground. Inhale, flat back, hands halfway. Exhale, hands to either side. This time we're going to step back with the other leg, knee down to the ground, uncurl your toe, and then inhale as you sweep your hands upwards into Anjali Asana, option to take a back bend. From here, hands back down either side, curl your back toe under again, raise your leg, step back to plank. From here, we're just going to do a couple of push-ups building some more strength in the body. 
and you have options to come down to knees if you need to. And then we're going to, with control, go slowly down to the mat, Chaturanga Dandasana. Pause for a second before going all the way. Uncurl your toes, push back up into a push facing dog. Curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Take your dog for a walk. And then hop, walk or jump back to the front of the mat. Sweep your hands up, flat back halfway. Exhale as you go back to the ground. Inhale, gathering the air around you up to the sky. Hands to heart centre. So that was some salutation using the other side, stepping back. So this time we're going to do a bit of a variation. We're going to hold the pose a little longer when we're in our downward dog slash plank area to really build some core strength. So following me, you're at the front of the mat. Inhale, sweep your hands upwards, gaze to the sky. Exhale, hinge from the hips, hands down to the ground. Inhale, flat back, hands to just below your knee. Exhale, hands planted to the mat. Step back to plank. And then from here, we're just going to do a couple of downward dogs. So push your bottom up, downward facing dog. Arms forward, back into plank. Up again, downward facing dog. And while you're here, this time we're going to do dog split position, right leg, which means taking your right leg up to the sky. Now that what I'd like you to do is bend your knee and then bring your knee under your body. My right knee is bent, I'm touching my left elbow with my right knee. And then push back to dog leg split. Bend the knee, bring it into the left elbow. Push back, dog leg split. One more time. Bend the knee, bring it to the left elbow. And pushing back, dog leg split. Bring the right leg down to the ground. Give yourself a little walk out. We're going to do it on the other side. Dog leg split, left leg up in the sky. Bend your knee and then curl your knee under your body. Take your left knee to your right elbow. Then push back into dog leg split. Bend your knee, left knee, right elbow. And push back, dog leg split. Bend at the knee one more time. Left knee to right elbow. Push back, dog leg split. Bringing your legs back down to the ground, downward facing dog. And walk your feet out. And then when you've done that, you can walk, step or jump up to the top of your mat. Hang for a second in ragdoll, taking the, either side of your elbows, your hands to your elbows. And just rock from side to side. Then stopping in the centre, sweeping the hands upwards on an inhale. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Well done. That was a 10 minute sun salutation. So anytime you want to build some energy, build some heat in your body, especially with electricity prices being what they are right now, if it's cold in your house, do that for 10 minutes, you'll soon warm up. Thank you for joining me and uh, do come find me on social media. It's the at symbol, I am Nadine Hill. Namaste.